This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, good morning, Rabbi Isai. Good morning. Bruchem to the Koilel Igor de Pirka here in Kugarn Hills, New York. Parshas Todois. So Rivka is expecting, and she experiences a very unusual phenomenon that uh, something, there's a lot of ter- internal turmoil. Chazal say, Rashi says, Vayisroi Tzitzu, Vayisroi Tzitzu, a very unusual expression, Vayisroi Tzitzu. They were running. It says, Rashi, Chitzit Vayarutsu, and they ran. What's Vayisroi Tzitzu? Al Karcha Chamichra Hazeh Oimer Darsheni. It must be, it has to be that this Pasuk talks out and it says, expound me. Shesasa Mahi Ritzitzu, it covers over, it hides. What is this struggling? So it says Rashi, Rabbi Seinu Darshuhu, our rabbis expound the Lashon Ritza, running, when she passed by the yeshiva, Yaakov ran and was trying to come out. When she passed by the house of idolatry, Esav was trying to break through. Yaakov was trying to run to the yeshiva, and Asa was trying to run to the church, and uh, she didn't understand what kind of kid does she have, a schizophrenic. So uh, this was the, the beginning of the parsha, And of course, Shem Ever said, no, Shnei Goyim Bevitnech. So this is a good opportunity to speak about a halachic subject, and that is, is it permitted for one to go into a church, into what we call the base Tiflos? Is one allowed to go into a church? Why would one want to go into it? Well, you know, it's in Yana Diyoma, election day. Tomorrow's election day. I remember when I lived in uh, Queens. So first I lived in Dyer Gardens. So then the polls were in the public school. public school. But then I moved to the Majestic, and then the polls were basically in the church, on, uh, on Union Turnpike. So it wasn't exactly in the church building, but it was in an annex building. And the parking lot was the parking lot of the church. Is one allowed to go into uh, a church? Or uh, sometimes people go touring, uh, people want to go into the Vatican. Is one allowed to go into a church? So uh, it's an important halachic subject. And even if you are allowed to, under what circumstances? What if a person has a business meeting? Or even what if somebody's life has to show is in danger? Under what circumstances, if it is permitted, would it be permitted? Okay, so let's start with the Pasuk in Parshas Vaira. So in the... Uh, in the introduction to the Maka of Barad, when, Ma- when Barad was impending, Mayomeri loved Moshe. Moshe said to Parai, Could say see us here? Actually, this was after Maka's Barad, during Maka's Barad. So Parai said, No, Moshe, get rid of this uh, Maka. So Moshe said, You know what? Could say see us here when I leave the city? Ephroi says, Kapa Hashem, I'll spread out my hands to God. Hakolo is Yachtalon, the sounds will cease. Vahabarad liyaoi, there won't be hell. Lamanteda, so that you should know ki la shem haaretz, that the world belongs to God. Now the question is, why did Moshe say, when I leave the city, I will pray to God? Why couldn't he pray in the city? Why couldn't he pray in Paroi's palace? Says Rashi, Ketsei si esoir, Min ha'ir, when he left the city, Avo betoi ha'ir, loy hispalel. When he was in the city, he didn't davin, lefi shahoysa malea gilulim. Because the city of Egypt was full of idols, and presumably you can't dive in if there are idols around. So therefore, Par- Moshe said, when I leave the city, and I leave the confines of the place of idolatry, then I could dive in. But so long as you're in the vicinity of idols, one is not permitted to dive in. Okay, so this is, seems to be some type of a source that the presence of idolatry precludes us from serving Hashem the way we would want to. So we have a tshuva here from the Chumas Hadeshen. The Chumas Hadeshen is in Simen Vav. Who is the Chumas Hadeshen? It was a Rishon, Rabbi Yisrael Iserlin. And it says a Shaila. The only thing is, you'll notice it doesn't say who asked him the Shaila. Does anybody know why it doesn't say who asked him the Shaila? Very good, because nobody asked him the Shaila. The Shach writes, the Chumas Hadeshen uh, made up questions to... To answer them, many svarim are like that. Many svarim are, are uh, you know, responsive, back and forth. So Shema Sadashen uh, would compose his own questions. Mishu Baderach, one who's on the road. 
Vehayoy Ma'ariv, and the day is waning, Shu'es Lotfila Samincha, it's time to pray, Mincha. Vehareyu Karav Lamalain, Lair. He's close to the hotel. He's almost at the Holiday Inn. He's almost at Howard Johnson. Right? It's a city of a complete, um, entirely consisting of Gentiles. He could definitely get there, obviously, before Shkia. He could even finish Shman Esra by Shkia, like the Mishnah Bura. So what should he do? Should he wait until he finishes traveling and gets to the hotel? Because on the road, how much could you be mechavin on the road? You know, they didn't have smooth cars back then. It was a bumpy trip and who knows, uh, he would have to say it could be even dangerous. We're on the road exactly as be able to daven. So should he wait until he gets to the hotel to be able to daven with some peace of mind? Or yispal el or should he pray in the field? Gamkein ma'umad. He could even do that standing. He could sort of veer off the path. So those are the two options. Daven on the road, or wait until he gets to the hotel. Says the Chumas Hadashen. Tshuva, Yira. If he could veer off the path, if he could get, let's say, a few feet off the road, so that nobody will interfere with his tefillah, so he'll go off into the cornfields and pray, and nobody would, will bother him. Shaper tfei, that's much better. Lehispalel baderch to daven on the road. Mimashe yispalel b'malon be'ir shikulei nachem than to daven in a hotel that entirely consists of goyim. Why? You know why it's not a good idea to daven in the city? Mibnei shabeir harbe gilulim. There are many idols in the city. There are many icons in the city. There are many images in the city. There are many statues in the city. Not only are there idols in the city, there are churches in the city. But the guy's not davening in a church. So what? You're not a daven in a city that has a church in the city. You're not a daven in a city that has a church in the city. And it's uh, kemat. It's almost as if it doesn't exist, that there's no hotel. That's the house of a Gentile. They have yoizels and yashkas and buddhas and all kinds of avodazaras. Or at the very least, engraved on the wall. You have graven images, abominations. You can't daven in the vicinity of such things. It's a mechilta that Rashi brings in Parshas Va'ira. Mikroza that Moshe says, Kitsesia Soir, Moshe Lairatzel Espala Betoich Krach Mitzrayim. Moshe didn't want to daven in Egypt because it was full of Fishimalea Gilulim. So therefore, says the Chumas Nation, you're much better off davening on the road, distracted in a very tenuous situation, than davening in a hotel that has images and icons. Now he does say at, at the end, he says, Amnam. But if you're not sure that it could be that you will be uh, interrupted on the road, right? In other words, this is all if you will have a, a quiet place to dominate on the road. But if you're really not sure, it could be people are going to interrupt you on the road. And in the hotel, you could find a room, or a corner, but Malon Panoi. Where you could have in with um, a clear mind, without the people of the house confusing you. In such a situation, it's, it's better to dive in, in the hotel. So, in other words, like this all things being equal, dive in on the road if you will be able to have kavana. However, if you're afraid people are going to interrupt you, and in the hotel you could get a quiet room and dive in um, peacefully in the corner, then you should do that. Okay. The Avkia Inna, okay, especially he says, called Philo Shalano Hain Bayar Samleus Tayavas Wilam. Nowadays, every city is going to have Avedazara in it. So, since under the circumstances, so like this, all things being equal, if you could daven peacefully on the road, better to daven in a road, on the road, than to daven in a city that has Avedazara in it. However, if you can be interrupted on the road, and when you get to your hotel, you could go into your own private room and stand in the corner, and you don't have to face the oizel, then that would be better, especially in light of the fact that nowadays, if you're going to daven in a city that doesn't have a vadezara, that basically only leaves you with one place to daven, and that is the moon. 
right? So, so since that's quite an expensive uh, um, fare to get to the moon, otherwise there's no city in the world, including Yushalayim, Yerak Kodesh, that uh, won't have Avodah Zara. Maybe Bnei Brak. What? Yeah. That has other issues that happens to be. That has other issues. Yeah. Anyway, there's a Pesach program there this year if you're interested. Okay. So, um, be it as it may, be it as it may, the Chuma Sadashan says that um, all things being equal, it's better to daven on the road. But if you're going to be interrupted on the road, then you could daven in the hotel. Now, if I were to ask you, Chuma Sadashan, is it Osir Mamish to daven in a city that has a Zara in it? Clearly not, because if it was Mamish Osir, he wouldn't say that if, you, um, that if you're going to be interrupted on the road and you have a quiet place in the hotel, you should daven in the hotel. It's Osir to daven in a place of Avodah Zara. Clearly then, this idea of not davening in a place of Avodah Zara is a preference. Because if it was Mamish Asr, we wouldn't allow it, even if you'd be interrupted on the road. It's a preference. I, if it's just a preference, why did Moshe Rabbeinu have to leave Mitzrayim? He preferred to leave Mitzrayim. Someone of the stature of Moshe Rabbeinu did not want to daven in Mitzrayim, even though it wasn't Mamish Asr. So this is the diok of the Torah Shalema, Rav Menachem Kasher, in the Torah Shalema, Parshas Va'era, quotes the Chuma Sadashen. And he says... Um, Look at number five, two lines from the bottom. Mevuar midvarav. It's clear from the words of the Chuma Sadashan. Shetam hamechilta. That the reason and the logic of the mechilta is ein zed din lahalacha. This is not a halachic din that you're not a daven in the same city or the same room that has an avodah zara in it. Ela Moshe hu shehechmer al atzmoi. Moshe was machmer on himself. Eshani tefila smoish and Moshe Rabbeinu's tefila was different. So one thing we do see from the Chumash Adashen is that it's preferable not to daven in a city that has avodah zara in it, in a room that doesn't have. But if, uh, if, if the choice is davening mincha or not davening mincha, avada, you should daven mincha, despite the fact that there are some avodah zara in the vicinity. So this is just talking about avodah zara. This is not talking about a base avodah zara. This is not talking about a church. Let's begin with the following Rambam. This is an astounding Rambam. It's a shocking Rambam. Is one allowed to live, not daven, live in a city that has a church in it? Is one allowed to walk down a street that has a church on it? Is one allowed to look at a church? And the answer to all of these is no. No. The answer to we just posed three questions. Could you live in a city that has a church in it? The answer to that is no. Are you allowed to walk down a street that has a church on it? The answer is no. Are you allowed to look at it? To that, the answer is going to be, it's kemat asr. So I just want to be accurate. It's kemat asr. So the question is, then uh, where are we going to live? I guess there was no, nowhere to go. There's no alternate road, you know? Or maybe, um, I don't know. She had no choice. Says the Rambam, there's a Rambam in the Pirish HaMishnayis, Avodah Zara, Perak Aleph, Mishnah Dal, the uncensored Rambam. Ulafikach Tzarch Ladas, Shekal Ir Me'are Ha'uma Hanoitzris, any city from the Christian religion, Sheyesh Lahem Ba Bema Bama, that has a Bama, what's a Bama? Koloimar Beis Tiflasam, the house of foolishness, Shehu Beis Avodah Zara Bli Safik. Now throughout history, it was always debated whether um, a church was a base of a Zara. And part of the debate was, is Christianity of a Zara? No. Is Christianity of a Zara? So there's a widespread misconception that it's not of a Zara. So let's just uh, clarify one thing. Maybe next week we'll speak about it. No promises, but maybe. There's an Isra of Shittuf, which means not only are we commanded to believe in one God... But we cannot believe that God has a n- um, numerous parts to it. We believe Hashem's Echad, Yachid, Umiyuchad. There's one God, and that one God is uh, non compartmentalized. He, ha- he doesn't have parts. But there's a Shaila, is a guy allowed to believe that God has parts to it? As we know, 
uh, most forms of Christianity believes in Shilosh, Shitof, right? The Trinity, the Father, the Ghost, the Mamzer, I don't know all the different parts. <laughs> but there are three parts, there are three parts. So is that considered Avodah Zarah? Toysus and Bechayro seems to say that it's not Avodah Zarah. From there, many think that that means that um, Christianity is not Avodah Zarah. And Rabbi Yaakov Emden Taka says that, that Christianity is not Avodah Zarah for Christians. For Jews it is. For Goyim, for Bnei Noyach it's not. However, we do not paskin like Rabbi Yaakov Emden. The Noy de Behuda says, that what Toysus means is it's not Avodah Zarah for a guy to swear by Shituf. But to believe in Shituf, it is Avodah Zarah. Likewise, Achsam Soifer writes, that's how we paskin. We paskin not only for Jews, but even for Goyim, B'nai Noyach, Christianity is Avodah Zarah. That's how we paskin La Halacha. And that has been uh, substantiated by the recent findings of the uncensored Rambam, where the Rambam writes everywhere that Christianity is Avodah Zarah. It's in the Yad HaChazok, it's in the Perish HaMashnayis. In the uncensored Rambam, the Rambam makes no, uh, has no qualms about saying that Christianity is Avodah Zarah. Fine. This is what we have it on the sheet over here. Shehu Beis Avodah Zarah Beli Safek. Says the Rambam, a city that has a church in it, Oisohir Asar Lavarba. You cannot pass through it, B'Meskaven. You cannot intentionally travel through a city... That has, a, that has a church in it. Mm-hmm. You certainly cannot live in it. So you'll say, so where are we going to move? So the good news is they've discovered that it could be Mars does support life. <laughs> no, th- th- but seriously, where are you going to live? Where are you going to live? Says Ramah, what are we going to do? Hashem Hashem delivered us in their hands. We have to live in their cities against their will. Lekayim devaray to fulfill that which it says in the Kriyat Shema. Va'avadetem Shem Elohim Maasei not in the Kriyat Shema, but that which the Torah says, you will worship their gods Maasei the Adam of of flesh and blood. Eats va'aven, right? That's the remez to the cross and and Islam. Okay, so meaning, according to the Rambam, why are we allowed to live in New York City or wherever we do live? We have no choice. Where, are you, where else are you going to live? God, go, this is the Hashkacha Pratis. Certainly a church. It's kemad osur to look at it. So you go on a trip and you want to marvel at the beauty of the architecture of a church, the Rambam would say, it's Kemat Aser. He doesn't say it's Aser, it's not Aser. What does it mean? It's Kemat Aser. That's what you would have thought, not yes. It's Kemat. That means like this, first worry about what is Aser. But this is Kemat Aser. What? I don't know. The koshikain lekare vaylov. Certainly, you can't come close to it. Kavachoy merli hikanes asaychem. Certainly, you cannot enter it. Now, I would say from the Rambam, is it usher to enter a church? Yes. I would say no. I would say no. Because if the Rambam is learning that you're not to go into a church from a kavachoy mer, that you're not to look at it. He doesn't say you're not to look at it. He says, Kemad, you're not to look at it. So are you allowed to enter a church? Kemad, you're not to enter it. That's what I would say. There's a rule in Kav HaChoymer. So as Chomor as the Rambam, I never realized this before. It's in your Zchus. <laughs> but as Chomor as the Rambam is, that you're not allowed to look at a church, but he doesn't really say you're not allowed to. He says, Kemad, you're not allowed to. And I would say, it's not mavur that you're not allowed to enter a church. It's only mavur that it's certainly kemat aser. But we don't pass from, from a Rambam in the Perish HaMishnayis. Okay, but I'm just giving you a hakdama, how chamur it is. In other words, stay away. Don't let your senses take in the sight. That's what we see from the Rambam. Now, let's come to the Halacha. We don't pass in from the Perish HaMishnayis, but we'll pass in from a Gemara and the Noisei Kelim. Says the Gemara Navoy de Zara. A Gavaldiga story. Rabbi Chanina and Rabbi Yonason have a ka'azli b'orcha. Rabbi Chanina and Rabbi Yonason were going on the way. 
Matulahanu tre shvile. They came to two divergent roads. Right? Chad patsi apischad avodas koychom v'chad patsi apischad be zaynais. They have a great choice. One passed by a church, and one passed by the house of harlotry. You know, pick your poison. One passed by a base of avodas koychavim, and one is pischad be zaynais. So the question is, what is it better to walk by? A base of avodas koychavim or a pischad be zaynais? Amar le chad lechavre. That's your opinion. Amar le chad lechavre. One said to his friend, Let's pass by the church. You know, the temptation for Avodah Zara is a lot less than the temptation for Arayos. We're better off passing by the house of Avodah Zarah than the house of Zoynos. Let's dafka go by the house of harlotry, yitzran, and we'll subdue our Yitzhahara. It will elicit, it will excite the Yitzhahara, we'll subdue the Yitzhahara, and the Kabbalah will get schar. Kimatu hasam, they got there, chazenu lezoinos, they saw the zoinos. It was tempting. Iskanu mikamayu, and they ran away, they subdued the Yitzhahara. So one zoina said to the other, did you know they would do that? And she said, yeah, yeah we knew they would do that. Okay. Anyway, and uh, the Gemara says, uh, are you allowed to do this? And so on and so forth. Fine. So we have this uh, two divergent roads. One is passing by a church. One is passing by the house of Avodah Zara. Uh, and one is passing by a church. And one is passing by the, the base Zoynois. And the first uh, thought, the first notion was, let's go to the house of, let's pass by the house of Avodah Zara. And then ultimately they decided to pass by the house of Arayos and subdue their Yetzirah. Fractosis. What in the world were they doing? What in the world were they doing? They were passing by the Beis Zainois. Are you allowed to pass by a house of Zainois? Is that a good idea? What the Gemara Psachim says, if you're walking down a road where you know they're immodestly dressed women, and you close your eyes... What are you called? Fool. That's a compliment. No. A Russia. You're called a Russia. There are two roads. One road, there's no, right? I could take the, the city street or I could pass by a beach, but I'll take off my glasses. And you pass by the beach and you don't look. You don't look. What are you called? A Russia. It's a Why? What are you putting yourself in the situation for? Now, it's not good to be called a Russia, not by a person, by God. If you pass by, you say, you know what? I don't have to take a different path. I'll go by this path and I'll close my eyes. You're wrong. So how are these Chachamim allowed to pass by the house of Zoynois? How are they allowed to do that? With subdue their Yetzirah. You're not allowed to do that. The answer is from this Gemara, we see you're not allowed to pass by a church. Really, you're not allowed to pass by a house of Zoynois. Even if you're going to subdue the Yetzahara. But worse than passing by a house of Zoynois is passing by a church. Says Toysus, we see from here, Mikan yesh lomoid shederech laharchik mi besach avazram. That it's the derech to move far away from the house of Avazar. Kol masha yachal. Mishum dechsev al tikrav al pesach besa. Which we say refers to Havadah Zara. Because they, they prefer to pass by a house of Zoynois than to pass by um, a church. Didn't we say it would be more difficult for the Yitzhahara part? Okay. So even though, what? Than the church? Because what, what kind of Yitzhahara are they going to have to go to a church? Right, and even so, even so, the deeper meaning of the Gemara, meaning there's a factor that the Gemara doesn't uncover to us, is even though the Gemara says they wanted to pass by the house of the Zoynois to subdue their Yetzirah, but that's not the real reason, because you really now to go out of your way to try to subdue the Yetzirah. The real reason is, is that it's mamish asr to pass by a, house, a church. It's mamish asr not to go in. It's asr to pass by. It's all sir to pass by. So we are not allowed to walk on Main Street? Wait till the end of the show. Go to the other side. I, what? Are you, I don't know. <laughs> At this point in the shear, you shouldn't pass by a church. Do we pass in this way? The Shach quotes the Rambam and the Perush Hamishnai is word for word. 
the Shach says, Kos of HaRambam, Lafikach Yodea Lecha, you should know, should call Ir Shal Uma Avaz Kachav, any city that has idolatry in it, that has a church in it, Beli Safek Oiso Ir Osr Lav, or Babak Havana, not that you're not allowed to live in it, of course you're not allowed to live in it. You're not allowed to travel through it. So you should put in GPS. Do you want to avoid toll paths? So there's a new option. The same way you could have different voices, you could have, uh, forget, forget about male and female, you could have a Hasidish voice, a Litvish voice, a Yeshivish voice. Yeah, Avada. Avada. If you learn something today, it's Kedai, yeah. You could have a Yeshiva, you could have different kinds of Havaras Fardit ways. Yeah, seriously. And Israel. No, I feel about America. You could have that. Um, you could also, there's an option. This they don't have. Should you know? I want to avoid bate tiflos. The the, the shach is saying you should choose that path. Ava, ava beisha nach no The only thing is we're subject to them. But I'm going to say no. Veshoichinim baartsam anusim. We're all Moranos. We're like Moran. Now that's a word. I don't think the Rambam in our text has. We're like Moranos. So you want to know, should you avoid passing by a base Tiflis? Yeah. Should you avoid looking at it? Yes. Do we pass in this way? Says the Shulchan Aruch, Mitzvah lehisrachek, Miderech alilim dalet amos. It's a mitzvah to stay dalet amos away. So, dalet amos is what, according to the Chazoynish, eight feet. So it's always kedai to have your tape measure with you. Yeah, always carry your tape measure with you. This way, uh, you should know. It could be they have an app for that. I don't know yet. You know, somebody want to market it? Are you within eight? Yeah. Fine. Okay. So far, so good. Now. What about, not the Avodah Zara, not the house of Avodah Zara, what about a side room? What about traveling through the parking lot? What about traveling through a courtyard? Says the Mishnah Masech the Avodah Zara. Um, Avodah Zara spelled wrong here, number 11. A, a city that has Avodah Zara in it. Outside the city you're allowed to go. If there's Avodah Zara outside, inside is Motor. Mahu lelech l'sham. Ah, can I travel through a city that has a void desire in it? Bizman shahaderch miuchedes loisay makay. Ah, sir. If the road is designated for the church, even though I'm not going to the church, I can't take that road. V'im ha yoyachal lahalech ba lamakam acher. But if that road could take me elsewhere, then I'm allowed to. So what's going on over here? Why am I not allowed to take a road that that road has no other option than to go to the church? I'm not, I'm not really going to the church. Why am I not allowed to take a road that has no option other than going to the church? Says Rashi. If there is no path out of that city to go to another city, Meaning, if let's say a city has a Vaidazar in it, and the road I'm taking cannot get me out of that city, I'm now to go on that road. Why? Because of suspicion. It looks like I'm going to serve the Avodazar. So listen carefully. What we learn from this Mishnah, the way Rashi explains it is, if I'm headed to a, a church... Even if I'm going in one door and out the other, but if that road only goes to a church, I cannot walk on the road. Because people are going to suspect that I'm taking the road to serve Avodah Zarah in the church. But if that road could get me elsewhere, so people are not going to suspect that I'm going to the church, maybe I'm going elsewhere, I am allowed to go on that road. So now here's the million dollar question. According to Rashi, the Isser of taking a road that leads to a church, or the Isser of going through the parking lot, is people are going to see that if I, let, let's say I'm tired, and you know, I'm on the road, and I need to take catch a, a, a few of these. So I'm going to pull into the parking lot of the church, and I'm going to sleep for 10 minutes in my car. If that parking lot is only for the church, I can't do that, because people are going to suspect that I'm going to go worship in the, in the, 
So the question is, but what if uh, I'm going there for a very important reason? What if, what if it's a sakana? What is the sakana? Is a person allowed to go into a church to save their life? That's the question now. So clearly, if we're dealing with that question, are you allowed to go into a church to save your life? It would seem it's rather chamor iser to go into a church if maybe you can't go in to save your life. You would think, though, that if the reason you're not allowed to go into a church is because of maras ha'ayin, then maras ha'ayin is only a din derabanan, and you'd be allowed to go in to save your life. You would probably even allowed to be, go in to have said maruba. Let's say you have a client, and the client says, look, I'm going to give you big business, you have to meet me in the church. You would think if the only Easter is Maras Ha'ayin, so it's a Hefzid Maruba, maybe there's a leniency. Comes the Ritva. There's no such thing as Dan Lekavzchos. There's something called Maras Ha'ayin. So that's the thing. If there's a bathroom there, if there's a bathroom there, but if there's a sign that says the bathroom are for purchases of the Egg McMuffin only, then, uh, yeah. V'tam nachainhu says the Ritva and Rashi's reason. It's a good reason. Dehabe Gemara Amrina and Dechashina Lachshada. Vafilu b'mokayim sakana. Even if your life is on the line, kagoyin detzach imaya. You're thirsty, right? You're thirsty, and there's a big statue of the Yozel, and out of his mouth water is coming out, and you want to put your mouth on his mouth. It looks like you're giving him a nice neshika. But you're not, you're just trying to drink because the person's life is on the line. The Gemara says, If you don't drink, you're going to die. You cannot go, you can't kiss the Yozel. So if you can't kiss the Yozel, says the Ritva, you can't go into a church. Ah, you're going to die. It's only Maras Ha'ayin. It's not only Maras Ha'ayin. It's the dust of idolatry. You, you have to give up your life and not, um, not be over. Therefore, says the Ritva, to go into a church to save your skin is Asr. Ulafiza Asr li kanes the base of a dezara the makim shen regin la gem li kanes v'jam el tzachav a dezara vad in a place where goyim only go in to worship, which is usually why goyim go into a uh, dezara. They don't. There's no daf yomi there during the week. There's no. You know what, what else are they going? In the, right? There's no. So they're going in for a dezara. Ah, okay, so the Ritva learns a Chidush Noira that even B'makoim Sakonas Nefashos you cannot go into the house of Ay, it's only Maras Ha'ayin. The Ritva novelly categorizes Maras Ha'ayin of Avodah Zorah as Abuzrai Da Avodah Zorah. Where does the Ritva get this from? It's an interesting Gemara. Look at number 15. The Gemara says in Avodah Zorah Yud Beis Amin Aleph Yashav Loi Koitz B'fnei Avodah Kechavim Let's say you got a thorn and you're sitting in front of an Avodah Zarah. You want to bend down and take it out. You can't do it. It looks like Avodah Zarah. Your money falls down in front of Avodah Zarah. You want to bend down to pick it up. Not pennies. Hundred dollar bills. You can't do it. You have a spring that's giving water. And you want to bend down and drink. No, you can't do it. You have faces of Avodah Zarah that sprinkle water. Don't put your mouth on their mouth. It looks like you're kissing them. <coughs> Look in the Gemara, what's the Chiddush of the last case? The Chiddush is, V'yitanehani, Tarti, if we would just say the first two cases, Mishim Deleka Sakana, Avomayin, if there's a spring, Deleka Sakana, Deleka Sakana, I would think if you're in Sakana, you're allowed to violate Mara Sayin of Avodah Says the Gemara, the Chiddush of the case of Mayon, is even when your life is on the line, you cannot look like you're serving Avodah Zarah. Paskin Zeritva. However, says Ritva, but if there's, let's say, a side room no in the church, what? And if, no and if there's nobody looking, first of all, Putin is always looking. Yeah? He sees you. The guy, the guy in Russia. Obama is looking. Every, there's always people looking. But even when, the Gemara says, the Gemara says, this sugya says, says, to do what? You can't bend down and get it. You can't bend, how are you going to get the water? If there's a way to do it, if let's say you could manipulate the cup in your foot, flip it up, and yeah, if you have a way to do it without bending down, you could do it. However, the Ritva says, 
if there's a courtyard in the church that they gather there for din, or there's a bathroom and a side room, or you want to use it as a shortcut, you're allowed to. There's no symbols on the wall. There. You're allowed to. In other words, if there's another reason why people go into a side room other than to worship, so now people are not going to suspect you're going in for that. Maybe they'll, they'll think you're going in to use the facility. So again, you can't go into the main sanctuary. The main sanctuary, people only go into worship. But a side room, you could go in, even if your life is not on the line, it's just a hefset mamay. But, if your li- but in the sanctuary itself, even if your life is on the line, the shita, the ritva is, you cannot go in. So you can go through a park. Could you go through a parking lot? What? As, as a sh- you could take the parking lot as a shortcut. Yeah. Yes, you could take the parking lot as a shortcut. And if it's a parking lot that people go in for other reasons, let's say there's, um, there's, there's a pizza store next door and there's no parking there, so people... So like, it would seem that according to the Ritva, where the voting usually takes place in a side room, and... Um, and people know that uh, people go to the side room to vote, then uh, you would be allowed to. Now, I will point out... Are you allowed to look at it when you're going in? <laughs> what? It's oh. kemat aser. <laughs> okay, it's kemat aser. I mean, uh, I wouldn't recommend closing your eyes. Well, okay, so... We don't make any political statements. I would agree with that. Okay, so, so the, the Ramah says that um, the Ramah says Chotzer shall avoid us kachavim, a courtyard of goyim. Yeishoyimrim de dino ki er shavaz kachavim. Some say it's like a city of of avodas zarv. As manchin of the kam meskabs and shom letarfas and mutar kanasham. If they're not gathered there for their service, you had to go there. Some say it's always aser. Some say it's always us, or if, meaning if the road only leads to the church, you can't even take that road. But if it passes by to elsewhere, you're allowed to. To walk through the chatzar. It is a mida of saintliness to distance yourself from going, even if there is, if you have another road. Meaning, as much as possible, avoid it. So does that mean it's a midas chasidus not to go into the side room of a church? Absolutely. Yeah, if you have another place to go. In other words... It's a midas chasidus to distance yourself from a chatzar of a church that leads to somewhere else if you have another road. So would it be a midas chasidus not to go into a side room of a church even to vote... One would think that the Ramah is not saying that. The Ramah is saying is when there's an old, when you have a Efshar Lelech, but there are then it's Midas Chasidus not to take that road. But if the only way to vote is to go there, I don't think the Ramah is saying it's Midas Chasidus to avoid it. Okay. But that's the sheet of the Ritva. The Ritva says you're not allowed to save your life by going into a church. However, the Ran argues. Listen to the Ran. The Ran says like this two kulois. Look at number 16. <laughs> so you would say, a city that has a Vedazara, you're now to travel through, even if your life is on the line. So says the Ramah, listen carefully. This din that the Gemara says, you know, to look like you're serving Avodah even when your life is on the line, that's only if it looks like you're serving Avodah So it's Maris Ha'ayin on the actual Avodah. You're now to violate Maris Ha'ayin on the actual Avodah, even when your life is on the line. But if it just looks like you're going to a place where you will worship, so that's Maris Ha'ayin on the Halicha, Malas Marsayin on the going, you're allowed to violate if your life is on the line. He says, Miu, Ir Sheyesh Ba Avodas Kacham, a city that has Avodas Arnet, the Asri Lelech Sham, Mimnei Shenira Kishahilech La Avod Avodas Kachavim, Mestabra, it's logical, the Hechad Ikos Akanas Nefesh Mutter, Shimla Madnu Benira Ki Oived, 
If the Gemara teaches us that when it looks like you're serving that filu magam zayna aser, benirel kehoylech laavoid loy lamadnu. So I would say, according to the Ran, could you go into a church to save your life? I would say yes. Because going into a church, it's not Maris Ayin that you're worshipping, but it's Maris Ayin that you're going inside to worship. The Evshiroid, then it could be the Ran says like this, even Maris Ayin on worshipping, you're allowed to violate Maris Ayin on worshipping to save your life. I, the Gemara says you're not allowed to. The Gemara says you can't put your mouth on a spring. If, um, you're not allowed to put your mouth on a spring because it looks like you're worshipping, even if your life is on the line. Says the Ran, when the Gemara says even when your life is on the line, it means that right now you're thirsty and you think if I don't drink now, you'll eventually dehydrate. But if you've reached Bo Mayim Nafesh and you're about to die, you are allowed to violate Marasayin even on the worshipping of Abayi Zara. So the Ran has really, let's read that inside. He says, When the Gemara says, So the Ran has two kulais. Number one, you'll have to violate Maris Ha'ayin when your life is on the line to go to a house of Adazara but not on the actual worshipping. And even the actual worshipping, l'chayra, it's mutter if your life is actually on the line. And the Ramah paskins like the Ran. Yeish oimrim, dechol she'enoy asa al neymar sa'ayin, kagoyin bedin zeh, im yeish sa'kana bedavar, kagoyin im yamos, im layishta mutter lishtais. And we don't say yeh harag v'ayava. So, if chas v'ayava, a person's life is on the line, there is a shita, a lenient shita of the Ramah. But what about money? What about if it's just a matter of losing money? Just a matter of, by the way, and that's how the Shulchan Aruch paskins. Look at number 19. Mishin Eschayev Misa. Mutter Levroyach Lebeis Avodis Kechavim Olahatzalas Atzmai. Sanctuary. So is Eschayev Misa, you're allowed to run to a church. And the Dark Yitzhiba also paskins this way. That this Dafka Vemakam Sakana. Ava Balav Hachi Afil Misram Bimnei Alistim Le Ruch Ra Asar. The Dark Yitzhuva says you're allowed to save your life. However, if you're afraid of bandits, or you're afraid of being harmed, you cannot go into a church even to protect yourself from danger, only to save your life. In fact, the Sefer Hasidim writes a story that somebody owed a Jew money. And the uh, priest realized that if he runs into the church, the Jew's not going to follow him. So now the Jew's in a bind, you know, could he go into the church to be Tevea Chayvay? And the story goes that no, he didn't go, he didn't do it. Now this doesn't mean it's Aser, but it's, you see the Sefer Chassidim that this is something that Jews didn't do. There's another story about a Jew who went into a church and he felt bad. So he asked the Chacham what he should do. So he said, what day did you go in? I went in uh, Yud Bez Cheshvan. He said, every day, every year, the rest of your life, you should fast. There was once a Jew who went to the chutzr of a church. He left, he heard Hashem tell him, why did you throw me away? And from then on, he fasted for the rest of his life. Anyway, that's just a story. But here, let's come to the Allah Chalamaisa. We have a tshuva from Maran, the Rishon, the Tzion, Rabbi Vadi Yosef, Zechazak Levracha. This is, he wrote when he was still in Kahir. Where is Kahir? Cairo. Tavshin Tess. This is the famous story that is going about to become famous. Tavshin Tess. Tavshin 1949. We know that to get a Hebrew date, you add 1240. Maisa Baliadi. To get an to get to get an English date. Excuse me. 1949. The story happened. A certain consul, consul died, um, a cardinal. And they would bring them into their house of worship. And then the priest would pray for him. I was asked from the Rav Harashi, 
in, um, if, based on the recommendation of the king to advise him, could he participate in the ceremony? Because why go? Why go? And many Rabbanim have done this throughout history. And says Ravadya, Amarati Vesbon and Kadas, what should I do? What should I do? So by the way, the first issue here is that um, whether Christianity is Avaidazar or not. So as we mentioned, the sheet of Rabbi Yaakov Emden is that for Bnei Noyach, Christianity is not Avaidazara. By the way, the Binyan Sion of the Aruch Laner, of Yaakov Etlinger, he also writes, he says, six lines from the bottom in number 22, Shalsu Chuz Binyan Sion, Simon Samach Gimel, the Gamasha Bnei Noyach Eno Metsuvim Ala Shituf. So or the Shita, the um, Binyan Sion is that Bnei Noyach are not commanded on Shituf. Now, this is a very interesting Shaila the Binyan Sion had. And that is, they bought a house, they didn't have a base madrash. And they couldn't find a regular house to buy a regular house that was, that was made originally for residents. So uh, they wanted to buy a church and turn the church into a shul. Are you allowed to do that? Are you allowed to do that? So says the Binyan Sion, you would think you could do it because for Bnei Noyach it's not Avoy de Zorah. So the first point he says is, that's good for them, it's not Avodah Zarah. For Yidin it is Avodah Zarah. And therefore, it's moss, it's disgusting. You can't do it. It's been done. I didn't ask whether it's been done, I asked whether you're allowed to do it. And he said no. Shh. But if you need to, you could rely on the Mizrahi, that if it wasn't built originally as a house of Avodah Zarah, if it was built as a residence, and then they use it as Avodah Zarah, then you can make it into a shul, which is usually never the case. But um, the opinion of the Binyan Tzion is you can't. What about places that did? Everyone should ask their local Orthodox rabbi. Okay? But that's the, that's the, the, that is the shita of the Binyan Tzion. But says Rabbi Vadi Yosef, it's irrelevant whether for Goyim... Christianity is Avodah Zarah, as the Binyan points out, that for Yidin, it is Avodah Zarah. But besides that, he says, he says, Mikal Makoim, B'tshuv Asnaid V'yehuda, Kasav, Demorgla, B'puma De'inshi, that which people frequently say, She'en Akam, B'tshuv Ashitov, Hutas! It's a mistake to say that Christianity is not a Vayda Zara. People say it, but it's wrong. It's one of those things that people say. It's one of the many, 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 many things that people say that is wrong. And where do they get it from? Because Ramah says, shituf. But as we mentioned, that means to swear on Shituf. But they're not to believe in it. Ah, however, look in Oisei. I saw in the Sefer Ikre Hadat. Now I'm not saying this, but Hadad is with a test. Shehevi divrei hapachad Yitzchak. Now that doesn't mean Rapunner. But it is one of the Kadmoinim Rabbi Yitzchak Lampronti, one of the Italian Kadmoinim. B'shem Ari Vali. Shemuter li Yisrael sheishel of noishim rabim. If a Jew has a lot of creditors, they can, he could run into a house of Vaydazara to save himself from uh, being taken by the government. And he, he quotes the Chuvas Harash that even for a loss of money, Bovad, it's not Asar. But, says Rabbi Vadya, the truth is the Torah is Mashman, not like that. That it's only Mutter, Bamakoim, Pikuach, Nefesh. And the Sefer Hasidim also brings down that it's better to avoid. And said, he says, Rabbi Vadya, the Chida brings down in the Bris Oilam that he brings down from his grandfather, the Chesed Avram, that anyone who enters a church, he will now reside in the wings of the Sitra Achra. And they may armatame him little by little. This which, by the way, demonstrates that it's only Motor B'makam Pikuach Nefesh. And says the Dark Eight Shuvah and the Thames of the Tazush Rishonim is also only Motor B'makam Pikuach Nefesh. Ah, but at the very least, the very least, 
to, to say that it's mutter, it's only going to be mutter if there's a loss of money or misham eva. Okay, now I saw in the Sefer Shavile David that going to a church is an Isser Dairaisa and you can't use a- Eva. Now, even though you could question what the Shavile David says that, that um, going to a church is a Dairaisa, it's not clear it's an uh, Isser Dairaisa, but says the Rebbe Vadya, there is no Heter Misham Eva. Why? Now, listen to this. Rebbe Vadya says, What do you mean it's Eva? What's the Eva? The halacha is not to go in. Why are they going to hate us? How is it different than any other halacha? The halacha is a Jew can't go into a church. They're not going to hate us. And he says, Rabbi Vadya says, look in the Zara MS. Listen carefully. The most abused Sfarah in the world is Eva. Which soon we're going to see a Chiddush Naira that Rabbi Vadya says, Eva does not apply Bizman Hazen. The Sfarah of Eva does not apply anymore. The Chlal, ever, ever, E, V, E R, but besides that, he quotes the Sefer Zera MS that Eva only applies that the Gemara says you now to do business with them on the day of their Chag. So it says the Zera MS that's only Davka Le'inyan Lasseis Velasseis Imayim Biyayim Chagam. So if you don't do business with them on their holiday, it's a good night for them. It's a bizayan for them. Or you're allowed to be miyaled anachris on Shabbos. You're allowed to help them give birth because not doing so is a genai. Because if we don't do it, it's like we don't treat them as, uh, we don't give them human dignity. Otherwise, we don't say Eva. Because we say Eva, we can matter all the Yisurim. No, the guy invites you, come, I'm inviting you to my house for a meal. My wife makes the best cheeseburger. Misham Eva, Misham Eva, you should have to eat it. I mean, she's going to be very insulted if you don't eat it. Be very, although every Yisr Dai Reis, uh, you're going to be matter. Ah, says Rabbi Vadya, Menias Hali Chasenil, based on Flossin, have a Ganai. It's not a Ganai. Chalam, even Adar Velashura, anyone who could think reasonably, Yira, She'ein Ze'ela, Lem Seichain Be'inayim. Currying favor is not Eva. You want to go to curry favor? That's not, ah, oh, if I don't go, it's Eva. Um, the reason we're in Golas is because we try to do these things. Says Rabbi Vadya in our many sins. Our leaders think it's a big thing to try to curry favor with the leaders of Umay Sa'ilam. Aval Choymer Umay Sa'ilam. Aval Tamar Betamrureha Imedes Velashav Tsarev Tsarev. The Ayn La Gaina Chasid Revlazer Mani, Bizachorinus El Yo, Dav Kov Chavzai, and Shikasar Jinali. Ah, says Revavadya. Look in the Sefer of a Gain Revlazer Mani. Excuse me, I made a mistake. Most of the time, most things that are mutter mishum eva, we're not going to be matter mizanazeh. Why? When there were blood libels and there was persecution, we have eva. Today, for the most part, we have freedom. And therefore, you cannot use the Svar of Eva. Does this apply to a mask? Well, not, because uh, Islam is not uh, Avodah Zara. But that's a separate discussion. Ah, he says Rabbi Vadya, famous story. The story that's about to become famous. <laughs> hey, look at Oizayin. But in the Sefer, Shalash Yitzhavah's Krach Shel Roimi, they say about the great Rav, Rebbe Lezer HaKoyin Ariash, and a group of his friends, who they got tired, they got tired of the same old Nigunim for Kedusha. How many times could you sing Rachem? How many times could you sing Mim Kaim Chav? I mean, it's time to rev it up. How many times? So they figure they're going to go into the church, get some good carols, some, some really snappy carols, and apply it to the Kedusha and the, and the Pismainim. Where do you think they got it? Where do you think they come from? 
right? They're gonna go. They're gonna go into the church, hide out, dress up, and pick up a few catchy tunes. It's a well-known story. They went behind. They went the woman's section. To get some good uh, for the high holidays. Kadeshim, they put it to Kadesh, or Kedushois, Dover Pella, the Kasa Valzen, the Sefer Shal Shu's Krak Shal, Roymi, Umay Sarav Kazer, who see you a god, this is Araya, you're allowed to go into a church. Says Ravadia, but you're not allowed to listen to their music when they play it for Rabbi Dezara. It's Asr, that we see in the Sefer Ruachayim. The Oid Shalay Nisara al Dover Knisasan Bay Siflasam. Also, you're now to go into their shul. And if there was Mayachoria Pargod, but that's still in the shul, says Ravadi number one, we don't learn story, we don't learn halacha from stories. Stories are not any conclusive regarding halacha. How often? I was once there and I saw this rabbi, I saw that rabbi, you didn't see, you conflated, you made it up, you made it up. You know, they're doing um, now, one of, the, one of the most cutting-edge fields of research now, I just read, is in memory. How human memory is so fragile, is so tenuous, where a person could watch a program, and then in his mind he goes somewhere, and he starts to conflate that what he saw on the program happened in real life. Maisim b'chol yoyim, lately in the news, how all the mekatrigim are moideh. No, it never happened, never happened. They made it up. They never saw it. They, they, they misremembered. They misremembered. Human memory, so a story, how much, um, how much credence do we give a story in halacha? None. What? None. We do rabbi. Well, this is the most, when the uh, rabbi testified that he saw this one at a young age, it's all of ages. No, no, not anymore. Stories don't work anymore. So he says, even if we explain um, that, not in halacha, not in halacha. What? Masarav means like this. If you have a source, and then you have a masarav to back it up, then it substantiates. But if it's asara pi halacha, the fact that you saw somebody do it, doesn't mean anything. It is not the halachic process. You're going to forsake halacha because of a story. Therefore, says Rabbi, I will say, I'm not afraid. So here are the choices. Either this story is not a maisa, it's a baba maisa. Or, you know why they, these rabbis went? Because they're a bunch of Amaratsim. Garam lahem zeh, menei shalai ainu heite bedavar. The reason these rabbis went is they didn't learn the sukkah. The chashvu shef shal hatev zeh, menei darkei shalom. They thought darkei shalom, you could go in. Or they were under the pressure. Asher lafina zaiti, which was a major chilol Hashem. You see, what most people think, it's a kiddush Hashem. It's a kiddush Hashem. Most people have no idea what a Kiddush Hashem is. It's a Kiddush Hashem for rabbis. Says Ravadia, for a rabbi to go in rabbinic garb, wearing a stramel, wearing a bekesha, or wearing whatever people consider, consider um, a rabbinic garb, to go into a church, you call it a Kiddush Hashem, it's Lashon Sagi Nahar. It's a Chil Hashem. Asher Afina Sati, maybe Lide Chil Hashem, Asher Abonim, Be Yisro, Yechnes, Ulam, Kam Yisrael, Bet Albushes, Harashamim Shalem. Malakoyin, Be Beisak Kvaris. What's the Koyin doing in the cemetery? Be Yishtaka, Dover Layomar. How dare you? Even talk about this. Zoy's Torah Soila. Here's the upshot. Sha'asur Lalachas Leknisiyasam. You cannot go into the church. What about Darke Shalom? Even because of Darke Shalom. And especially, says, well, it's not Darke Shalom, it's just currying favor. Vialachas Kam Vakam Shinogim Oyser Shalakatar Katoiras. They start burning sh- spices. So that's Mamash Avedu Zara. Vitsoyakim. They pray, but don't worry, they're not answered. So, says Ravadya, you cannot go there. Um, 
in his rabbinic garb, Beglima the Rabbanon. It's a Chil Hashem. Fitzorich, I, this is a Minog. Let me tell you about Minog, says Ravadia. This Minog, just unscramble the letters and we'll send these people straight to the purgatory, which is Gehenom. Somebody once told me that uh, they talk by davening. It's a Minog. Their father talked and they talk. It's a Minog. So, no. But the thing was, he said it seriously. The person said it seriously. So, says Ravadia, there are two divergent paths. One of them, this minog, hara, shu'osius, gehenim, I, the rabbi, not anymore, of a makam sheish, chil ha'ashem, en chalkam kavad rab, may we be zoicha, az apa, chal amim, safa, brura, likroi kulam, b'shem ha'ashem, ulav da'ashchem echad. So in other words, uh, to go to a side room to vote, um, it would seem, based on the stories we saw, that one would be allowed to do so, but to go inside, to marvel at the architecture, um, based on what we're understanding, it would not be permitted to do that, and the best thing is to try to um, distance oneself as much as possible. As much as possible. Ad kedei kach, that the Ramam says it's kamad, asr, even loraisai. We should be zoicha to uh, live be'ir shekulai tayra v'avayda. Shkaya. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.